Hi there, it's Bill with Smart Trades. A little before 11 o'clock, and it's Tuesday, the 28th of September. And this hopefully is going to be a quick video. I'm going to uh, just go over uh, the, the basics. And basi our, our count's pretty much on track here, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, one thing to keep in mind that uh, we're looking at probabilities here, not certainties in terms of our targets and uh, the patterns that we expect into the next several days. So. Uh, let's take a quick look and uh, and and see what the uh, Elliott wave and uh, price patterns suggest. And uh, here's our our favorite count on the 60-minute chart. And as I've said before, this is far from a certainty. But uh, here's what I think is happening: is I think we have a a, a small one-two and then a third wave up, and that we're uh, f working on a fourth wave triangle or flat here right now. Uh, the implications of that are that the uh, fifth wave up should be relatively short, should be similar in magnitude to wave one because the third wave was extended. And uh, moreover, uh, the possibility that this is a triangle would help to uh, confirm that indeed the next leg up is uh, a fifth wave. Now, uh, equality between waves uh, one and five is a, a, a probability, again, not a certainty. Uh, I looking quickly at yesterday's uh, peak, you'll notice here uh, once again, the breadth diverged. We had a moderate new high both on the NASDAQ and the S&P cash just by a few ticks. And breadth ratios did not confirm, and indeed we had a pretty sharp sell-off. That said, it's basically holding in that previous uh, range as we said it might between uh, oh, about 11, uh, uh, 15 and 11.25, preferably the upper end of that range. Uh, since this is a triangle, uh, at least that's my assumption for now. Again, this is an uncertain, uh, to my way of thinking, uh, pattern on the hourly chart, so uh, don't be surprised if this evolves into something else and if my count changes. Uh, that said, on the daily chart, things are, are pretty clear, uh, at least to, uh, to my way of thinking. And that's that we have, uh, from the uh, July lows, we have, uh, we're working on an ABC up. Now, A equals C around that 1157 area, give or take a couple of uh, points. Uh, keep in mind that we're already within less than a percent of that uh, target. So, uh, you know, again, A equals C is a probability. Uh, we don't necessarily expect it to hit there exactly. So, you know, uh, 1148, which we've already hit, uh, you know, 1155, 1159, 1160, whatever. If we're in that range, uh, you should be looking for a possible peak. Now, if, if I'm wrong, the likely scenario is that the, the next most likely scenario, I should say, is a 1.62 ratio times A. That would take us up above the April high slightly, uh, and that's not inconsistent with the idea that this entire pattern is a larger ABC and that, uh, that we've got a, we're working on a possible flat. So, um, you know, that's, that, there's something to be said for that area, uh, which again would come in around the 1220 area, the uh, actual 1.62 times uh, A or 1.618 times A comes in a little higher than that, perhaps uh, uh, closer to 1230. Keep in mind that we had old targets around the 1222, 1223 area. So there's a pretty nice cluster up there and uh, um, you know just a very small new high would probably pull, <coughs> excuse me, pull the bulls in and uh, scare the bears out. So um, it is an area to watch if, you know, if I emphasize we go through the uh, 1157 uh, area with some uh, conviction and, and uh, confirmation of breath and uh, volume. And finally, here's the spiders. One of the other reasons that I like that uh, 1157 area basis, the S&P, is there's actually a gap there. Uh, it comes in closer to 116 on the uh, spiders. That is, again, our A equals C. Uh, the 1.618 uh, ratio, again, comes in slightly above the uh, April peak. Uh, the other thing that, that makes me like that 116 area or uh, 1157 area uh, basis, the S&P cash, is if we do have a, a, a peak there, uh, an equal leg down would take us right back to uh, important swing territory around the uh, 950 area basis, the S&P cash. That's 95 or so basis, the spiders. The, in that case, you'd have two equal legs down. Again, we're tracing just about 50% of the rally off of the 2009 lows. 
Now, once again, these are probabilities. You know, there's nothing magical about the uh, Fibonacci ratio or the A equals C pattern, so on and so forth. Uh, so don't expect uh, the numbers to be exactly precise. That said, it gives us a nice little target, and uh, we shall see. Uh, the the short-term pattern is also uh, uh, confirming nicely for a possible uh, a possible peak around 11.57 basis the S&P. And once again, if it powers through there, uh, the the next target becomes the uh, April highs or perhaps even a little higher. One last confirming uh, issue here for a possible peak. Momentum has peaked basis the ADX. Volume is waning uh, in the la latter portions of this rally. Uh, that could be uh, the con in the context of correcting the rally in a sideways triangle pattern, as I've noted. But uh, that said, it's also uh, consistent with the idea that we're getting close to a peak. Anyway, hope you're uh, having a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.